Hey, thanks for stopping by my channel. So in this video, we're going to talk about the best way to become a ethical hacker in 2023, but with a little bit of a different twist, we're actually going to be looking at how to set up goals. If you're looking to become an ethical hacker in 2023, I have already made videos on what I think you need to learn in the order. I think you need to learn them as well as free and paid resources that I walk you through the best places to go to practice in this specific order. So if you're interested in like the things I I think you need to learn in a specific order and where you can learn them then that will be the first link down in the description but for this video it's going to be more of how do you stay motivated and how do you set goals so that you keep reaching goals and continue to be motivated because i have said it before if you want to be an ethical hacker or you want to be a bug bounty hunter your greatest adversary is going to be time and your persistence Hello, Rob. i've waited years many years by now it must be it's 23 years four months eight days you cannot become a hacker overnight it's not something that's just going to happen really quickly for you no matter how much you study now a lot of study in a short amount of time really does help and speed things up but it is still going to take you a little bit of time to become an ethical hacker no matter what road you want to take so let's go ahead and jump into it with point number one the best way to set up your goals or to structure your goals for 2023 is not to say by december 31st of 2023 i want to know and then make a list of things that you want to know because that's just really broad and you're going to end up jumping around between topics anytime you set goals they need to be in a six week or a 12 week span you can take a small bite and i recommend doing everything in a 12 or really 15 week span and then break down little goals within that 12 week span because 12 weeks is really manageable and so is 15 weeks and set up small goals that you can accomplish in these short amount of times and they will accumulate so for the first goal i would say just learn linux and windows really well you need to learn the file structure you need to learn what looks normal when you land on a linux server and the same for windows so just set up six weeks where all you're going to do is learn the file system you're going to move around you're going to learn how to create directories move directories copy directories what crons are normally running and things like that how to create users how to delete users and just play around with linux you need to be able to be really familiar with the Linux system. And after six weeks, which might be a little bit of overkill, it probably won't take six weeks, maybe like three to learn that really well, then move on to Windows. And Windows for me, it took a little longer. I still to this day think Windows is a lot harder to enumerate than Linux. And I know I'm probably in the minority there, but when it comes to Windows, there's just so much to learn. And so Windows, take another six weeks and go on to Try Hack Me and walk through learning how to use Windows. It is really important to know the command line in Linux and Windows really well. And so you can just say over these next 12 weeks, I'm gonna spend six on Linux and six on Windows. And by the end of those 12 weeks, you will have learned Linux and Windows really well and you'll have an excellent foundation rather than just saying, by the end of the year, I want to learn this along with these other things. Because then maybe you want to be a bug bounty hunter or a penetration tester and you can start looking at the OS top 10 and start learning the most common vulnerabilities on websites. You can start learning how to use burp or zap proxy because you're gonna need to know these and make another 12 week goal list of things you want to learn. And you don't want to overpack your 12 weeks with more than what you can realistically learn because you don't want to become a slave to your schedule. You want your schedule to work around you with realistic goals that you can meet. So that way when you meet that goal, you get that neurological effect where you've reached a goal, you're on the high, and then you want to create a new goal and you want to keep learning. And setting smaller goals is gonna keep you wanting to move forward, wanting to learn more, because you continually reach these small goals. These are some of the things that have really helped me and continue to help me to this day. I try to set really small goals, usually within three or four months. I even do that with this YouTube channel. Where do I wanna be in a few months? How do I think I can reach it? What do I think you guys want or need to know? And then I set goals for videos that I want to make in those 12 weeks. And then I have goals of where I want to be. And so it is something that I think is really helpful for all areas of life. It'll really keep you motivated and help you keep from burning out and quitting because once you reach a goal, you'll have that motivation and you'll want to keep learning. So if you want to see, and so if again, you want to see the order of what I think you need to learn and where to learn how to become an ethical hacker, you can go ahead and click the link right here and you can check that video out. Thanks for watching.